All right, let's see how this all goes. Should be running. Oh man, it's gonna be weird because my dog has decided he wants to lay on my chair, on the rollers of my chair, so I can't move my chair. <laughs> Oh, all right, so that thing is working. Everything looks like it's up and running. YouTube's being a punk. Actually, it's probably my ISP. I've been having ISP issues all day, so if you see things go wonky, blame my ISP. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we were all together, we ended up coming over here. I took a look out here. Uh, the assertive guys are just kind of hanging out. Let's come over here really quick. So we did come over here. Um, this is the station that we that we saw last time. Problem is, is access is denied. We can't actually get in. But you know, you come over here and you can. And there's a cockpit there that we can't get into. If we come up here, there's a little charging area so that you can actually get some power. But there's no way for us to get inside. And looking at it from, you know, control panel, if we come in here really quick. Actually, let's do it the easy way so we don't have to fight with it. So if we from the seat you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here including some cargo containers that that one is uh let's see okay that's got a bunch of stuff in it that's got nothing in it nothing in it that's got some stuff in it so i'm thinking um some of these have probably got like ammo or food minor supplies in them and then some of these are going to have actual resources in them maybe ice or something uh, let's see here. Small reactor. Uh, it's got a little bit of uranium in it. It's probably got like 50 units of uranium in it. And anything else that looks important. Um, not that I'm really seeing. There's an assembler. Anything in there? Not seeing anything running in that. Alright, so I think what we're going to do... Uh, fleet help, huh? I think if we take that out... If we start the saw at the top and work our way down, <laughs> hey, it's their fault. They didn't. <laughs> they didn't want to share. Oh man, if they were willing to share, we wouldn't have this issue. Oh, all right. So I think what we're gonna need to do close that up. I think what we're going to do is uh, gather up a little bit of material here. Now we need to find a place to settle down. Um, so I'm actually going to be looking hopefully for a place with some uranium on it. Basic resources I'm not really that worried about. Oh, your i -Core. We've got i -Core behind us. We might need to wait for those guys to jump out of system. <laughs> hey, Jacko, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. All right. So I'm thinking... I mean, it's obviously we can just absolutely nuke the station if we had to. But I'm not wanting to do that. I'm kind of wanting... Uh, let's see. I'm kind of wanting to... I'm thinking I may slide around this a little bit. 
Because if I can get both of the antennas, uh, that should give us... I mean, it's very possible these guys are going to start attacking us here in a second. Simply for, you know, oh, hit the, hit the shields again. It'd be nice if I could see their shield. But yeah, so what I'm thinking here is that uh, we're gonna see if we can get ourselves a little bit of salvage here. That should be good. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take the antennas off first. So if you ever need to do this for real, um, take the antennas out so they can't call for help. Because <laughs> we're about to go like so. Boop. Go get them, Bob. <laughs> oh. Bob's not... Do Bob's not want to uh, partake of this? I'm wondering if I have... Do I have it set so that you're not pulling armor? Is that what it is? No, you're, you're pulling everything. Okay, so you're taking armor, armor. Yeah, it should be working. I'm guessing it's because of the fact that these aren't technically neutral and they're not hostile. Damn it. Ah. Uh. Oh, let's see. We should be able to change this really quickly. Uh, help others. Hold only. There we go. Grind neutral blocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always too many days in the week. <clears throat> unless it's, unless it's a Saturday or a Sunday, then it's not enough. So, uh, salvaging, salvaging. They haven't aggroed us yet, so we're still salvaging. <laughs> Hey, it's aggressive salvage. They won't share resources. What am I supposed to do? I need material. They have material. It's a match made in heaven, right? <laughs> I may need to just set everybody down a hostel. <laughs> oh, man. Ah. <sighs> See? And people say strip mining is only for planets. <sighs> oh. Might have to go pick up that unknown container, too. <sighs> Alright. So we're going to let that run. And like I said, I th might be able... Actually, before we do that, let's... Grab some tea... We'll close our helmet again, hopefully. Okay, there we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over, take a look, and see what how this is all going. Yeah, see, Bob just takes it all apart for us. All right. <laughs> oh, hello. Bob's really taking it all apart for us. Holy crap, man. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, um, appreciate it. All right, so that was some connector stuff here. Do I have access to it yet? Access is still denied. All right, well, if access is denied, we'll just um, borrow. Yeah. 
There was nobody here. It's fine. Grinding and stripping go hand in hand. Yes, yes they do. In pretty much every context that that could be taken. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, what's the moral of the story? When you see me sail into your system, trade with me. <laughs> Oh, all right. Let's back up just a wee bit because I want to grab their uh, their shield generator so it stops destroying my stuff. <laughs> About Bob taking it all? Yeah. <laughs> take it, Bob. Take it. <sighs> <laughs> So surprisingly, oh, there it goes. I was gonna say, it looks like he's straight up just ignoring the shield generator. All right, but no, he he grabbed it all. All right. So now we can have Bob take the rest of this beast apart for us. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of curious to see if we actually picked up any credits. Nope, no credits. All right. But our apple farm has produced, which is good. I actually might need to go pull some stuff out of the grid. Uh, and for some reason, there we go. All right, so let's do that. We'll just go ahead and hide empty. Um, let's move all but 20, actually we'll just do this, we'll do put 20 up there just to have them, and we'll put the rest of them down there. Alright, well, it looks like things are similar, let's see here, has everybody got ammo? Start loading up all the extra ammo everywhere. So, hey, look. <laughs> look at all the salvage we have. Ah, so nice, right? I mean, it's always great when they, uh, they bring us stuff. Or, in this case, they give us stuff. I know, I'm so... It's so wrong. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Oh. oh, growing the devil's lettuce. All right. uh, any other components we really need to worry about? I don't think so. I think that's pretty much everything we really care about. Lots of ammo. Uh, that's for the small ship. That's for the small ship. Probably have to move all of this over into the uh, scrap cargo container. Just to get it out of there. Um, refineries are fine. Let's get all the scrap out of there. Actually, let's just look for all the scrap right now. So basically, what I'm trying to do is to clean up our inventory so we don't so we don't have uh, ridiculous amounts of scrap scattered throughout the the ship. So we're just going to grab that kind of stuff out. It would actually be nice if... Um, uh, survival kit's pulling stuff, that's fine. Because it, it should be processing it. Dirty old man and refuse to apologize? You should never apologize. Well, I mean, if you, go, if you take it too far... <laughs> joke about know your audience right <clears throat> so all 
All right. So we'll have that taken out. I kind of wanted to be able to salvage those uh, hydrogen tanks, but it's okay. Those might have been nice to add to the ship. Add them to the collective. The problem is, is I think they're explosive now. <laughs> so if I if I brought them over, I'd have to deal with it. Especially if you live on or near the east or the west coast. Yeah, that's very true. Oh man. All right. So I'm gonna go see if there's actually anything over there that warrants us taking the rest of it because I think we've gotten most of the good stuff out of here the rest of it's just scrap metal this will just be oh no there's actually some stuff over here still all right so we'll let Bob finish taking this stuff apart uh, we'll probably we'll see if these yeah okay they are in the uh, the range so yeah, what we'll do is we'll pitch up so Bob can take the, this middle stuff apart. Um, he's grabbing the last tank there. Eh, should be okay. we probably let it run. I want to see if he grabs these or if he's going to grab those thrusters or not. I think those are just outside of the arc. Looking at how Bob is focused on the other armor pieces, yeah, I'm going to say those are just outside the arc. All right, so let's we'll pitch down, grab that stuff, and then we'll pitch up, grab the rest of the stuff up top, and then we'll uh, head on out. See if we can find some place to settle down. Let's go like that. Do gamers have it too far? Ah, some some of them do. Yeah, just depends on the context, I think. Uh, me personally? Eh, not really. <laughs> I'm pretty easy going about a lot of stuff. Uh, some people say maybe a little too easy going about some things, but uh, you know. Alright, so the ship has proven its worth multiple times over. It has fought off orcs. It has fought off pirates. It's even taken on the assertive NPCs. We haven't taken on one of the uh, the war bosses yet, but we're also trying to avoid that for the time being. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn the saw off. We're going to back ourselves up here a little bit. That's an assertive heading towards us. Are you flying through tangently? Yeah, okay, you're just flying through tangently. All right, so do we have... We got platinum in the area, which... Uh, actually, how much platinum do we have? I don't really need much. Oh, there you go. Eight, seven... We've got a bunch of thruster components that have been made. We've got a bunch of thruster components that are being ground down. Mm, we've got 2K platinum. I'm not too worried about it. You use so little of it in a thruster component. I mean, like, let's go in here. I mean, seriously, you know, 0.13. So for every, what, 100, <laughs> you're using, like, 13 platinum? You know. And, yeah, the large, the large thrusters use a bunch of them, but, I mean, you're not talking, like, a 1,000 per thruster, so. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't really hurt to go hit some platinum up. Um, you know what? I see an asteroid. I'm kind of curious about. Let's see if the radio... Uh, uh, no. 
Yeah, I think something changed where it's not using the sword detector anymore. Because it's no longer detecting it and we're on the same grid. So I'm thinking that something changed where they aren't using the... Uh, the modded ore detectors anymore. Because as far as I know, it still works with the regular ore detector. Actually, I should probably try that out. It might also be, uh -huh. it might also be that that ore detector is blocked now. Let me take a look. I want to see if that ore detector is blocked. Uh, should be up here, right? Yeah. No. It's got clean line of sight to it. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is that it's no longer using this ore detector. So what I may do is have two ore detectors where we use this one to, to narrow down and we put a regular ore detector in. Um, in order to do the readings. But it may it may be that that ore detector is just so overpowered. All right, hey Rashid, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Exactly, we're preemptively assisting. <laughs> Head out of here before our turrets start shooting at that guy. Got iron, silicon, platinum, nickel. I mean, we've actually got some really good resources in this area, so it might not be a bad idea to set up a station out here. Just having the platinum and nickel. There's an iron deposit over there. Turn dampers off and just kind of coast away from him. And then the fact that we can grind down pretty much all of the stone for whatever resources that we, the basic resources that we need. Not too bad of an idea. But I mean, look at that. It's the strongest shape. Sorry, Reese. <laughs> For those who don't know who I'm talking about, there's a YouTuber from the UK uh, named Real Civil Engineer, and you'll hear him refer, he'll, he'll, he will reference things as the strongest shape. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so, I mean, we do actually, like I said, we do have some good resources in the area, but what I'm really looking for is uranium. Because I... I'm, do I actually, do I have any uranium ore? I don't think I... Uh, yeah, I've got 85k of it, so I guess I don't really need it. Alright, so... If we... Hmm... Let's accelerate up a little bit. Hey, uranium. Nice. I was wondering, because when you... There are some predefined... Well, I don't want to say predefined. There are some recurring shapes that you run into in Space Engineers because of the way that the system works. So usually certain ones... Um, when you find one that looks like a mushroom cloud... I, my experience has been that there's usually uranium on it, not always. So take that with a huge grain of salt. But I'm thinking this might not be a bad place to set up an asteroid eater. Because I've been wanting to build like an actual station somewhere. Not just our uh, private station back on that little asteroid that <laughs> the orcs know about now. 2k out. I'll go ahead and turn on dampers. Well, what I was thinking was is that if we can find something... See, this has got ice, uranium, and platinum scattered through all of it. 
and then obviously nickel. But we'll also get a little bit of nickel, silicon, and iron from the stone. So if we set something up that just basically eats this thing, that like eats the entire asteroid cluster. That could that would provide a ridiculous amount of material. But the question is, is but I have enough time to build it before the orcs show up again. I know, right? So we've got ice down there, which is good. We've got nickel, stone, and uranium platinum. All right. So yeah, this is definitely a, perspect a perspective spot. Since we have ice, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna get out, go take a look at the ice. Because it looks like there's a pretty decent chunk of ice down there and there's platinum with it. And uranium, yeah. Yeah, I think it I think it's definitely worth Uh what do we have? We've got platinum, uranium. Actually let's go. Platinum uranium. Is it nickel? And ice. Yeah. Okay. That gives us a, a spot to come back to if we need it. Um, there's another shattered one down there. I mean, we have a lot of resource. We, <laughs> by the time we're done processing all of the scrap that we have, actually, speaking of, who isn't processing scrap right now? Okay, so we've only got the two. Year, I forgot we only have two refineries on here. I need another. I need a refinery mill. <sighs> I mean, we could build Atlantis. Have a fully functioning city. <laughs> that could be a thing. Um, and the question is, is do we want to go that route? Because I think most of you enjoy the building aspects, not so much necessarily the uh, going out and picking fights all the time. But Hmm. I'm kind of torn because I enjoy doing both. The fact that we haven't seen any orc show up yet is kind of, uh, I don't want to say scary, uh, but bothersome might be a good choice on that. All right, and it looks like we are almost 90 degrees on the uh, the galactic axes so if you notice the the sun is slowly tra traversing uh from the forward section to aft section of the ship which means if we set anything up over here it's slightly off on that side so if we went this way i want to check to see How's it moving? It's slightly diagonal, so it's actually... What I'm trying to do is figure out what my actual positioning is. One, use this, use a long straight line of your ship to figure out which way the, the, the sun pathing is going. All right. And I will apologize to everyone in advance. My ISP is causing issues today, so... You may see the uh, the connection go wonky, so apologies in advance for that. So it looks like that is mostly the pathing. Okay, so if we wanted to have solar, 
on the station. If we want the power, if we want a power station with solar, looks like it'll be on the far side. Right, let's go. Let's go take a trip outside really quick. Trying to get an idea here. Nickel and uranium. There's so much material in this thing. So, yeah, we'd have to. We'd be looking at probably building off of this area, somewhere in this area. Or we build a station that's free floating that just has a ridiculous number of uh, drills on it that eats the entire thing. Which could be a thing. It's been a while since I've built a, uh, an asteroid devourer. For those who don't know what that is, um, think of basically a, a whole lot of drills on pistons that rotate. <laughs> <laughs> they're, rid they're ridiculously huge um, this would be like the, the length of this ship would be roughly one segment in uh, like an actual asteroid destroyer and then I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. so it'd be an octagon um, with drills on pistons that would actually be able to reach into the center of the area. I've built one, I've built them once or twice. Uh, look, the orcs have found us. Alright. Well, we have a waypoint. I meant to um, actually get gyros on this thing, but it's okay. We're gonna... Okay, all cannons are turned on. Let's turn off our ore detector. We want this guy to basically center line those guys. Ah, we didn't get to it in time. Uh, blast barge. That is a rather large ship. And I want that gone. It's got shields. See, he's trying to overpower your shields by ramming. That's okay. Ooh. Exploration and building. Yeah, sounds good. Let me, let me fire my real guns. I hate the fact that they slowed them down. Ugh. I want to use my real guns. That's what they're for.
Come on. <sighs> I really need a, a reload timer set up for this thing so I can see exactly how much time is left on them. Come on. Don't let him get away. Ah. Just waiting for the reload. Come on, guys. Okay, th this reload is way too slow now. Railgun should not take this long to recharge. Yeah, they, they nerf this way too much. Come on. Starting to lose our shields. I yeah, know, right? More salvage. This point defense cannons have really, really saved us. Like, entirely too many times, probably. Trying to get close enough. Ah, oversteering. <laughs> Love those point defense cannons. The things are awesome. Right, so if we bring you into that range. Still not close enough for it to... See, the cannons are still not shooting and I don't know why. I want to be able to shoot that thing. We need to get out of here. Orcs have identified the area. Oh, war, dis <laughs> war boss. What do you think? Should we go spawn one of these guys just to see how bad it really is? Um, let's bring ourselves under control. We'll get our shields charged back up. And I'm going to check the status of our cannons. So, charging, it's not reloading, does it not have ammo? Why does it not have ammo? Okay, for some reason it's not able to pull ammo. Alright. A 
let's go check and see what happened. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. So for some reason, the railguns are not reloading. They were working fine before. I'm wondering if we took some damage somewhere. Did we have damage get through and break stuff? All right, so we know up to this point everything is good. Let's go over this over here. Okay, I'm going to make sure. Doesn't look like there's any damage through any of that. Alright, you are advanced rotor. You're feeding into the hinge. Hinge is feeding into the conveyor. Conveyor is feeding into the railgun. Alright. Alright, so let's. Can I. Oh, it's small Sabbat railguns. Oh, son of a. <sighs> Alright. Um, those need to go away. Let's go into the assembler. Here we're going to disassemble those. So where are the. Oh, there's. Okay, so you need to disassemble all 300 of those. Assembler number 10, you are going to start producing 300 of those. Uh, it needs 3,000 silicone and 100 uranium. 10. Do I have, uh, let's see, we'll pull 100 from you, pull 100 from you, and why do you have 2k, man, 100 from you, you're probably going to get repurposed, alright, um, Yeah, it should be good. And then the only thing we need are silicone wafers. Oh, man. I'm sitting there like, why isn't it actually firing? Well, it's because we don't have the right ammo for it. And you're going to get 2k, just because we can. I just want to make sure we have everything in there. Oh, I thought I need 3k. Okay. There we go. That should be everything that we need. All right, so now we do consumables. We do railgun. Drop those in here. Hey, our railgun's reloaded. All right. All right, so that would be the, that would explain why we were having some of the issues. I forgot that there's a small railgun ammo type. I keep thinking that it's a uh, single ammo type. But yeah, there's a large and small equivalent. <sighs> I mean, come on, it's just a couple of grams of material being accelerated to almost the speed of light, right? Okay, let's go in here really quick. We are going to move... I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of these. Uh, actually, let's grab two of these, because I'll eat one now. I'll keep the other one on us in case we need it. That increases our food and drink. That gets us actually pretty well fed and hydrated. Uh, okay, and then I want... Those. We're going to move this over here. Alright, so we've got a whole lot of ammo. We've got 
that. I want to go. Okay, you're you're here doing what you're supposed to do. Okay. I want to make sure all of you got at least three. So we're gonna go. Was that eight? So if we do. Yeah, I know I could have done, um, there you go. All right. I don't think that this fight is going to take that long, but we'll find out. So what I'm thinking is we'll get our we'll let our speed drop down to about 50 meters a second. Now when this thing spawns in, it's going to be a system hit. There we go. And I don't know which way it's going where it's going to spawn. It spawns in a radius around the waypoint when you get close enough. Um I think it spawns like two kilometers out, maybe further now. It might be like five kilometers, but I don't remember. It's been a while since I've spawned one of these things. Let's find out. I think all of our cannons should be full. Right? Assault cannon, assault cannon, everybody's got some ammo. drop five of those in there really quick we're just dropping ammo everywhere all right all right and the question is I don't remember how close we have to get to it to spawn it. That's the problem. Because uh, I'm fairly certain. And that would be close enough. So inside 300 meters. It's going to chunk for a while here. So, uh, yeah, it spawns over there. I think this is the one that Fade wanted us to run into, too. Oh, it's getting chunky. There go the real guns. We're gonna back up. And I'm gonna put us at about 10, uh, actually let's go about 20. And we'll just start drifting backwards. This way you can see it all happening. All right. Oh, look at that stuff on there. Come on. I'd really like to be able to fire my real guns again, please. All right, we need to start accelerating a little bit more. Oh. Quick. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's coming after us. What if the boss destroys my ship? Oh, we'll 
find out what happens. Man, that thing's got some shields. Holy crap. And I mean, everything is unloading on that thing. So how's our shields doing? Look at that. <laughs> All of that fire, and it's like, we haven't gotten through his shields yet. I mean, that's just... We're just pouring fire into that guy. Oh, his shields went down. His shields went down! Yes! Oh, our shields are going down. <laughs> Come on, come on. Oh crap, our shields are gone. Our shields are gone. Let's get this thing drifting a bit here. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oof the. What did we lose? We lost the hangar explosive decompression on the hangar. Alright, let's roll this thing so we can just try and get the his shields are back online. That's about good. I think we lost our shield generator. Oh my god. <laughs> My health critical. What happened? How did my health go critical? All right, why are my dampeners off? What the hell's ah? Oh, space engineers, I swear. You pick the damnedest times to start turning things on and off on me here. Oh! Oh! There's a whole lot of everything going on. Whoop, wrong way. We need to go this way. Come on. <laughs> oh! Um, we seem to have... Uh, issue. All right, uh, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna take all of our food that we have pre-made. Yes, I know. I'm gonna take damage from. Wow, the war boss has gotten brutal. Whole. Oh. Can I get the Can I get the real guns back in on this? All right, so we've lost our real guns. Whoo! And it's okay, we're over 100 meters a second. And this guy is catching up to us. <laughs> Holy... Wow. I'm wondering if I can... 
I don't know if we have more defensive. Just basically trying to cut our angles here so we can get us. Oh, hey, hey, we've got a ship floating away. <laughs> um, we lost, <laughs> we lost our little combat ship. It's floating off in the space. We'll come back looking for it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Yeah, honestly, um... I don't know if I'm a jump drive survived. Yeah, I don't have jump drives. Uh, that was the main reason why I didn't jump. Wow. Okay, well, we're 5k away from the orc boss. And it had a jump drive inhibitor field, so... Oh. Area's been identified as player occupied by orcs. You think? <laughs> Okay, how much? The real question is, is our cargo. How much cargo survived? Our consumables is damaged. Our ore and ingots survived. That's good. Our, our scrap survived. Okay, so we can actually recover. Uh, how much uranium do we have left? All right, so the build repair picked up uranium, picked up uranium, which means we probably lost our refineries. Do we have any refineries left? We have a re we have a refinery left. Do we have any assemblers left? We have assemblers left. Okay. Do I have a projector on board? Yes, yes, I do. We'll bring it online here in a second. We're gonna, I'm just going to let Bob try and get some things welded up first. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, I think Bruce, that beat the crap out of us. All right. And I've still got pieces floating off. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, all we can do is, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Actually, I don't think we have any. I don't think the Saul survived. Yeah, that's what's left of the Saul. I mean, the entire bow of the ship is gone. I don't know how long we need to be out of en out of engagement before. The Yorks will uh, get bored and fly off. I know that they will eventually leave, but I don't, like I said, I don't know how long or what the range is on it. We might have to get like 25k away from them or something. I'm honestly not sure we actually have thrusters to stop in some directions now. All right. My main concern is that I don't want to run into a uh, an asteroid. All right, so we should be okay for now. All right. So while Bob is okay, so we do actually have gravity. That's good. Uh, what's bad is that we have a lot of holes in the ship. So I need to grab. Um, yeah, so we lost a large reactor. Lost cargo over here, too. Alright, so... 
Bob is slowly getting things fixed. Actually, do we get our... Did he grab our... Oh, he did pick up our stuff. Okay. I'll drop this off. And I think at this point, I am not even going to try and... So uh, yeah, I need to... Alright. It's fine. It's fine. We can... I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling a bit of a breeze here. Alright. Well, considering <laughs> there is nothing pressurized on this ship at this point. I'm actually wondering if this hangar is pressurized. I think this is the one that has our... Yeah, that's the one we lost the... Uh, the combat ship in, which is fine. On an asteroid cluster, please do not be directly behind me. Um, yeah. Alright, so we lost our utility ship. <laughs> How bad would it be to just jump off the ship at this point? <clears throat> Alright. I mean, seriously, this is... Wow. Alright, so we actually have a little bit there. <laughs> oh, let me see if I have any plates. Do I have any plates? Please tell me I have plates. No, I don't have plates. Of course not. Why would I have plates? Alright. Why can I not pull? Really? All I want to do is pull plates out of the grid, please. Well, we get to see the inside of the ship at least, right? Alright. Okay, let's see. Uh, we've closed all of that off, so I have to go down this way. Maybe better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so I can't even get into the assemblers at this point. Um, you are actually all still piped in, which is good. Okay, so there's a break here at that point. What are you? You're okay, you're okay. You're the, you're the reason I can't get in there. Huh? All right. Alright, so can I get... up here... and we're gonna... what two... Oh, what, two what two items couldn't be put into production? I wonder... you need to go off of there... <sighs> I swear... I don't know why that thing keeps ending up on my, uh... Alright, well, you guys can stop producing those right now. One component could not be put into production. Okay, so what is... Where is the production going? It's like it's telling me it can't be put into production, but it's not telling me where things are that. Assembler's incomplete, assembler's incomplete. Ah, oh, that is so frustrating. Okay. Alright, what do I need? Alright, so I need 100 reactor components, 20 motors. Do I have access to... I don't think I have access to this stuff, right? Nope. Alright, so I need... What are you? Your assembler 6. You still have access to the materials, so we're... Ah, uh, come here. 
So what did I say? I need 100 reactor components. 20 motors and what else was it? I don't remember. We need to get this reactor back online first. Computers. I need 100 computers. Production. And 100 computers. Come on. Alright, so what I'm hoping is that Bob can get that reactor back online, which will get us back into the inventory grid. I need to basically close all this in again. Alright. Alright, looks like the orcs have uh, vacated. Oh, well, that was entertaining. <coughs> Little pieces of our ship floating around out here. All right, so we've lost. We've got some control in most directions, except for braking. I need to get that thrust. There's it. There's one thruster up front that we need to get back online. All of our cannons are on fire. Well, most of our cannons are on fire. <coughs> and I need to get... <laughs> of course, there's an assertive. Hi. You know what? We're gonna... Uh, do I want to turn the... Uh... Please tell me you're not coming over here to kick me. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, on the flip side, it looks like they've repaired the other bulbs. The one uh, down below. All right, so let's go. I want... You guys are running... So, turret bobs. We're going to set you guys back. Uh, we're going to basically zero all of this out. Cancel. You're going. You're going for as much area as we can get to hopefully get some of this stuff back online. Ah, crap. Um, I don't really have... Uh, do I have control? I don't remember if I set up the... Nope, I didn't set up the uh, controls on this. It looks like it's going to pass about 3k, 3.5k out from us. But we're really not in a position to get into a fight right this second. Alright. Alright, so let's go see if that reactor's back online. I'm going to leave the turrets up and running for right now. Um... Do I have any? I don't know if I have T in here. I don't think I have T. Nope. Alright, so do I have. Uh, do I have T anywhere that I can get to it? Nope. Okay, so I have to. Where is. It's gotta be up here somewhere then. Because I was able to pull my, I was able to pull my tools out of the grid. So where the hell are they? Were on this side? 
No, of course not. Or an ingots. How about over here? Nope. Yeah, I have no clue where where it's storing all this crap at. Alright. So you're all kind of screwed. You guys are completely off grid. Alright. So you're not able to pull parts. So we need to get the uh, Yeah. Alright. <laughs> We're not not going there. Alright. You know what? Instead of running through the ship, <laughs> let's just go out here. Can I get into the grid somewhere here, please? No, you're gonna make it. Yeah, I made this entire, entire entirely impossible to get into. All right. Oh, why is that? Like, some things have grid access and some things don't. What the hell is going on? I'm gonna have to actually like cut through the ship to figure out where the hell everything's connected through. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to check each of the surviving cargo containers individually. Nothing. You've got scrap. You've got nothing. You've got nothing. Alright. Uh, you actually have parts. Okay. That's good to know. I need to make signs for all of these guys with what they're... Oh, there we go. Okay. So we've got that. Got the water. Let's grab the food. Uh, I'm going to grab all of this stuff because I'm going to probably need it in the near future. Alright. Alright, so what we need to do is I need to figure out where the parts are. Um, see if I can get... Are you up and running yet? No, you're not. E 20 motors. Okay, do I? All right, so let's go in here. We're going to just tell this thing, Assembler. Come here, buddy. Assembler 6. Uh, make, I don't know, like a thousand motors. The hell with the plates. Let's make the motors. <laughs> that reactor needs to come back online. Right. Um, now, the T gives us water and health, but what I need then is the cola. I don't think I have any cola. Oh, I do, but it's in that container. Crap, which one is that? Uh, one display. Can I get... Okay, can I make... I think I can make displays in the survival kit, right? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, give me one of those. Oh, that's where everything's gone. It went over here. Okay, you clear all that crap out, please. Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. All right. Uh, make like a hundred of those. I just need one. Thank you. That's so I can bring that con that cargo container back online. Okay, that's back online. That means I can get the cola, uh, coffee. Okay, so it's the coffee that I need. All right, so let's grab the coffee. What we need to do is set up an area that I can pressurize. Um, I think we set this area. No, we didn't. I was going to put a vent there. So originally I was going to put a vent here and a door here, which I think we're going to go ahead and do. Um, Let's get a door in here. Drop. Let's get all this miscellaneous crap off our inventory right now. 
I need a door. What do I need for that? I need... Oh, that's why. I need steel plate for that. What do I need? Wow, that's a whole lot of stuff that I don't want to deal with. Okay. Um, let's go. What's our, where's our regular door? Offset door. Uh, okay. So we're going to add, get you out of there. Uh, let's go offset door, right? Yeah. Okay, see if we can pull the parts for this out of the grid. Uh, actually, can I? I can pull anything. Okay. Absolutely useless. What's in here? That's the consumables. Let's get the door out of my damn face. Okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, really? Come on, I need just enough material. You know what? I'm wondering. Are you sealed? You are sealed, but I don't think I have an air vent in here. I'm wondering. Crap. So the problem is, is that I need a sealed environment to put our uh, Screw it. We're gonna we're gonna run the risk of it. Okay, that's fine. We can do that then. Power of caffeine. All right, we'll go with the power of caffeine. Always works. Easy travel, yep. Well, we wanted to renovate anyway, and so basically what this has done is, uh... Hey, Jonathan, how you doing? Hey, no worries. You, you may enjoy the uh, last 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, man. See? The, uh, the ship is in uh, an interesting state currently. All right, so... All right, so what do we need for the reactor? Wow, we lost turret controls. We've lost... Man, yeah, we're just going to have to... I need to get that damn reactor online so I can get everything else running through the network down there. Because I can't get to the materials coming out of the assembler until this thing is working. Okay, this thing is now working. You're powered up. That means everything's coming up through here. Nothing's feeding that way, but you are feeding that way. All right, so I need to get the conveyors fixed over here, which means I think I can get into the grid now. Can I please get some plates? Uh, all right, can I get... I don't think I can get anything from there, right? No, because that's all down in that area. There are interior plates. Okay. I just have to remember which cargo box they're in. Not in that one. Not in that one. That's scrap. Okay. One of these has our materials in it. There it is. All right, so let's grab some of those, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just we're gonna patch in the network really quick just to get so we can get the. Uh... All right, and this is like I said, this is basically basically just going to be a quick. This just needs to work now, kind of situation. Um,
Come on, let me out. Really? Really, space engineers? Come on. You're gonna make me go... Alright. All of the holes in the ship. And you're saying that one little spot is too small for me to get my oversized engineering butt out of. Uh, orcs. Not more orcs. Damn you, orcs. Uh... Alright, we need to go. We need to go now. We are once again underway. I hope. We're going to turn that off. All right, so that means we actually have... Oh, we do have reverse thrust. Okay, we actually do have... All right, well, that's... Okay. And I need to go down here, because we're getting... Sheesh. <laughs> so much fire. Oh, okay, so we have some power here. Let's go in here to production. The survival kit I need... I need plates. No, seriously, I need plates. Bob, stop stealing my plates. Yes, I know you're trying to repair everything. <laughs> Come on. I'm fighting Bob for the damn plates. All right, so... Okay, you're done making those for now. Go ahead and go back to start making plates. Um, I, like I said, I need to basically get enough of an area closed off. Um, let's get rid of that. which means I have to go all the way down the front. Actually, can I? Did Bob get our, our girders going for us? Or uh, some of our other stuff welded up? Actually, you know what? Can I do it here? I can do it here. Okay. have access to stuff. Okay, you actually have access to stuff as well, so we'll have you produce like another thousand plates. Um, you. I don't know if you have access to anything. Let's find out. You do. Okay. Alright, so we've got basic parts in production again. Basically just trying to get it set up to the point where we can cl start closing this stuff off. Um, how about you guys? How are we doing down here? We've got giant chunks of ship open here. Huh? Alright, so if we go that... to 
that to that. Uh, do I have any access? Uh, so we're missing a bunch of chunks there too. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, so let's go one there, one there. That'll get most of this area closed in. This all looks like this is still sealed. Which will allow me... Did I pick up girders? I did, okay. Oh, really? Really, Bob? Alright. So, all of that is good. That'll be sealed. And I'm thinking... For this... We're just going to go ahead and do that. All right. Well, this turned into a uh, much more exciting video than I was expecting. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this gets us... Make sure it's not in our direct path line of travel. There's a vulture. Oh, huh? I don't remember the last time I saw the vulture. <laughs> oh, man. That's cr that is a crazy amount of damage to the ship. And we don't even have we let's think like we can't even go hide on a planet or a moon. We are deep space only. All right. Okay, so I am going to go in here. I'm wondering if uh you know what? Here, out of iron ingots. All right. So, do we have can, do we have access to the scrap in here? No. All right. So you are not connected in. Why? Oh, look, another another hole in the ship. All right. Alright, so I need to... I'm wondering... If I come in here... So why are you guys having access... Okay, where do I have assemblers that, that have access? I mean, why do I have assemblers that have access? Okay, so I can pull those out. Okay, so he doesn't have access to iron anymore. I need to go pull our iron, which is in here? No, it's in one of these. At some point I will actually put the signs on there so I can find them all. That's all scrap. You know what, let's grab that. We're gonna put you in there for right now. We're gonna grab as much of this as we can. And we'll run this back to the refineries, because I think these actually have... I think you can get into the refinery, right? Yes, yes you can. Okay. And so the assemblers are basically pulling as much crap out of here as fast as possible. That means we can drop all of that off. Oh. 
Come on. Get this one. Get this one. Come on, Bob. You can do it. Closed. I'm going to check down here and make sure. Okay, so... No, I need that to be closed. And that needs to be welded. Okay, so... Oh! Ah, no worries. <laughs> I need to go over here. And uh, no. 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 It's in one of the. Oh, maybe it wasn't there. You're in here, right? No. You've got the material. Okay, so let's grab. How much of that can we grab? We can grab a bunch of that. Let's drop off 5k of that and we'll grab all the nickel. Mm, it's the cobalt. And then we can run that back into the assembler. And that'll get us most of the stuff up and running, I think. Uh, six. that we can actually start doing our own welding process here okay you are all in I don't know okay that's all welded up that's all welded up Bob is slowly fixing stuff for us you are missing what are you missing you need bulletproof glass. Do we have any glass in the system? <laughs> We've got glass. Oh, we do. It's down in the components area. Okay. I need, need a bit of that. Yes, we are currently in the process of running as fast as possible away from the area that we were in. Um, So for this, I'm just basically, like I said, I'm just really trying to get the, the ship to hold an atmosphere. Um, I'm going to have to go outside the ship to fix some of the problems that we have. Like here, we're missing thrusters. Um, actually missing a thruster right there. Set up before, huh? Okay, yeah. All right. And see how we're missing like all of this stuff. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and start closing some of this in. I'm actually going to leave those open so we know that we're, so we know where those are if we need them in the future. Um, you are probably going to go like so. Probably do something just like this. Is that it? 
That straight up a refinery is gone. Oh. All right, so let's get a refinery back online here. Uh, which side has the connection on it? You've got the connection on the upper. And so we're going to flip you. That way you're piped in on two sides. I think that's what we did on the other side too, yeah? Yeah, okay. Alright, so that's all good. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Let's get some of this patched in here. Well, you know, at least the ore detector works, right? Uh, let's see how... Alright, so... Nothing in our immediate concern as far as the... Uh, our pathing is concerned. Alright, so all of that looks like it's okay. Uh, like I said, we're really just trying to make sure we've got the ship as sealed as possible. Um, I have girders on me, right? No. I don't have any girders. Okay. It's fine. We'll, we'll make do. Alright, and then this guy is going to go like so. What's actually frightening is that it got to the point where um, the interior turrets that I had in the windows were actually shooting. Like, they were part of our defense plan at that point. Why is the shooter over here? Come on, let me go. <sighs> Come on, leave us alone, leave us alone. The fact that it spawned that close, that's crap. That is such crap. It spawned on top of us. It spawned at like two kilometers out. So we've lost the, I think that was a chunk. I'm hoping that was just the chunk of uh, blast doors. Wow. How is it catching up to us? Seriously? That is such crap. It's, it's like, oh, we're just going to start catching up now. Because we can. So we've lost all of the forward section at this point. Whew. So look at this. We're, we're over 100 meters a second, right? And it's just slowly getting starting to fall behind us. That's so frustrating. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we brought it on ourselves by picking a fight, but... Oh. I 
Actually, before we lose any more of those... So we've got a bunch of them that are... So the Sauls, yeah, I'm, that one is... I don't know, what is that? Uh, it's probably on the turret. Alright, so we've got two working build and repair tools. And the fact that that thing is staying close enough... I'm wondering... Do you have ammo in you? No. But I do have shells. I'm wondering... Can I get over there to a point where I can actually get ammo into them? There's a connector on the other side, so yes, yes I can. Alright. I want to see if I can pull the ammo out of here yet. Nope. Alright, so you're done in the consumables. Fine. You guys want to play? Fine, we'll play. We'll do it this way. Because we can. You want to poke the panda, the panda's going to poke you back. Are you consumables? You're consumables. Alright, come here. I've got two turrets that still work. I have to manually load the damn things. But we have two turrets that still work. Are you broken? Son of a... <laughs> <sighs> yep, alright. Alright, that's fine. It's fine. We can make this work. I don't know how, but we can make this work. Uh, you're completely broken. Why are you completely You're completely broken because of that conveyor. Alright, which one of you? You're okay, you're okay. We've got a couple of conveyors that are down, so steel tubes and interior plates. Steel tubes and interior plates. Steel tubes and construction components. Okay. All the holes in the ship, and I'm going through the doors. Why? Because we can. Alright. Like I said, at least it's interesting. All right. Uh, don't need you. Don't need you. Let's drop all that stuff off. I need. Put it over here. Uh, let's go into production. We're going to go into you guys. We're going to say create. I don't know a couple hundred of those couple hundred of those, right? Well, the thing is, I think I have uh, components. I don't remember. Uh, I don't want to get like 60 of these guys just in case. Alright. Motors. Uh, grab, like, 30 of those. And then the components. I don't have any components, really? Oh, there we go. Um, done. I have almost enough. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. And we're just gonna we're just gonna grab them as we can. And for these I need like 40 of these, so. Nothing like fixing your ship while you're running away from things. <laughs> A few more. Come on. You can do it. And it wouldn't be so bad 
if the damn orcs would stop spawning around us and spawning at such close ranges. It's like the one that spawned at like 7 or 8k out, that wasn't too bad because, you know, we could run away from it. But this guy spawned entirely too close. There's just nothing we could do to get away from him. Alright, so that is now online. Which means... That is now online. And we can now... Kick those over. Uh, we want... Uh, we're gonna go uh, 26. There you go. Okay. Yeah, come on. Bring it. <laughs> My turrets are online again. Uh, you're okay. Just make sure. Yeah, okay. Those are all actually working. Oh. This poor ship. Man. <laughs> Even Bob is going, yeah, dude. No, we're we're done here, buddy. <laughs> station dry dock. I would like for an allied dry dock to show up. So this is what I get for uh, going through and salvaging the uh, the i core guys, right? <sighs> Alright. Okay, so for this we need construction components and interior plates. Alright, I think we actually have a bunch of interior plates. Yeah, I hear things banging into the ship. Okay. So, that means a good portion of this is all patched in now. Okay. Just to check. I want to make sure we can pull stuff out of there. We can, that's awesome. That means the bobs that we do have on board should now be wired back in. All right, so you guys, what do you still need? You need interior plates, okay. All right. Did we just burn through all of those interior plates? No, okay. Okay, so that's up and running. I need to get downstairs. I found an asteroid cluster. Hopefully not in the direction we're flying. What do you need? Construction components? Construction components. Oh, come on. Two thousand of those, please. That should get most of that back online. Uh, I don't have steel block or steel plate, which is fine. I can get them fairly easily now, I think. Bob can weld that up, hopefully. Okay, so you are all patched in. I think that's everything's patched mostly back in. Do I regret picking that fight? No, not a chance in hell. <laughs> oh. Come on, you have to admit, it was funny. Oh. I need some more plates. It may not have been comfortable, but it was funny. All right. 
Okay, I think we can pressurize in here now. Other than the uh, window upstairs. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so all that's still there, so this... Yeah, basically we need that to be... But I think I can actually pull the glass out now, right? Can I pull glass out? I can, okay. Ah, oh, we have atmosphere again. Okay. <laughs> that is a huge step up for what we had. Uh, let's grab... Uh, cancel. Alright. Now that we have an, a pressurized environment... So the shooter boat is still somewhat there. Um, I'm wondering if we... How much do I have any magnesium left? I have 68 magnesium there. 266 there. So if we want it to do. So I can do 67. So I can do roughly. What, 100? No, 1,000. Explosives. Since that guy doesn't want to leave us alone, wow, that's actually really cheap to build. You know what? Let's do it. Alright, so what have we got? Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and drop off all the extra stuff that we're carrying. So what really hurts is that the assault cannon shells, uh, the ammo. Aww. Uh, but yeah, the ammo is explosive. What in the hell? What is... We've got something on fire above us. Alright, so... Um, airlock needs to be fixed. All right. Need to... Actually, can I get into the... <laughs> Let me get into the inventory really quick. Uh, plates. It's always entertaining when you step outside the ship and realize, you know, so much of it is missing. All right, so what are you? You're one of my you're one of my defense turrets, and you're flying in time with us. That's actually amazing. All right, there you go. There's another shooter boat. Yeah, we're going to ignore him for now. All I care about is making sure we don't have any asteroids in our direct path of fire. Um, well, if I can find a spot to hide from the orcs long enough, I think what we'll do is um, scrap the ship down. Like, What I want to do is I want to build a base. And... Uh, have it so that it can defend itself long enough to build a ship big enough to basically go after the orcs. Uh, we have two jump drives, but I don't know how bad they are. We need to go check those. Alright, and close that up in case I come back through one of the many, many doors that are now available. Uh, we need to check. Okay, so how much damage have you got? I mean, you're on fire, so you're pretty much dead. Okay. <sighs> Crap. 
Hey, John. Severe damage? Yeah, a little bit. Would I do it again? Probably. <laughs> oh, man. All right. The fact that we're, f we're flying through space at 100 meters a second and I'm outside the ship <laughs> looking at the damage. Okay, I need to know what's making that smoke over here. Is, is it one of the thrusters? Oh yeah, it's this guy. You only need 300... Uh, what is that? 352? No, 252. Alright, so if we can get some of this stuff fixed... Hey, there's a SEM station. I wonder if we can get over to it. More importantly, I wonder if it's actually moving. All right. Let's fire the thrusters here, see if we can get this, get ourselves back under some semblance of control. Since we have most of the production stuff piped in now, what are you missing? You're missing nickel. All right, so uh, let's go over here. Are our refineries actually all online? They are all online, okay. Can we get you over? Okay, so you can pull that stuff through. So let's have you start breaking down the things that we really need here. Uh, that connector. I don't know what that connector goes to. All right. So we'll have to figure out where that connector is. I think that might be in one of the hangars. Oh, and Sims looks like it's an actual station if that's a station we're gonna go hide by them that way if the orcs show up the orcs can go after those guys but that might give us a little bit of a reprieve Um, Sims usually have shields and a lot of weapons on them. Explosive decompression? Eh, maybe. I think it was just I took so much damage that the explosion, the, uh, the forces at play, basically I got hit with a really big kinetic weapon is what I think happened. Um, some of the orc ships have um, gravity cannons on them. At least I think they have gravity cannons on them. It's been a while since I've looked at one up close without, you know, getting my face eaten off. Alright. Well, you know, I wanted to redesign the ship anyway, right? And for those curious, yes, I actually do have a bl uh, uh, blueprint. What I'm trying to do is get to a position... What in the hell? That looks interesting. Alright, we're going to turn our weapons off for a second, just in case, because I really don't want it to shoot at them. But that... Looking at it, there's a whole lot of stuff around it. That halo of rocks does not look natural. So I'm wondering navigation beacons. I'm 
wondering because it's a mining station. It looks like there's some ships out there. Now I'm not going to get too close to it because I, um, SEMs tend to have um, the build and repair bots on them. And they are usually set up to grind neutrals. So if you get too close to them, they will sometimes strip your ship. Like, they'll, they'll strip your stuff for material. Really, really annoying. I didn't, I wasn't aware of that once. And uh, one of the, I was in a rover. And I came back and my rover was cut in half. That's the navigation beacon. Yeah, so I think what we're going to do is we'll get in at about 500 meters or so. And like I said, I don't want my bobs taking their stuff apart either. Yeah, I think this is where we're going to float right here for now. I'm actually kind of curious as to... Iron, Cobalt, Nickel, Ice, Platinum. Uh, all right. Okay, I think we've got a somewhat okay place to hang out for a couple of minutes. I hope. Uh, what we're going to do is go into production. You're not producing anything. Okay, so I want you to produce... Uh, like a thousand thruster components. And this way Bob can get some of our thrusters back online. Hopefully. Um, I really don't want to get out of the ship. I kind of have to. Uh, once again, close that just in case. So what I'm gonna look, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the thrusters that we have that are on fire. I want to see if it's just thruster components that they need. Thrusters and construction components. Okay. Because if we can get construction components, deal tubes. Yeah, basically, if we can get this stuff back online. Ow. We'll be in a much better situation. Looks like Bob's slowly fixing things for us. All right. So antennas are still online. That's good. Okay. And you guys are probably missing everything since you're on fire. Yeah, you're just missing thruster components. Actually, it's not bad. Okay. Wait, how many do you need? You need 500. You need another 200, which means you guys are basically eating all of my thruster components. Okay, so you're back online. You still need 300, so we're up to 1,000 there. Plus the ones up front, plus another 400, so we'll say 2,000-ish. Looks like we lost all of our laterals on that side. So at 2,000... And you need... Basically, the only thing holding it on were steel plates. Okay. Um, 2,000, so if we say... Maybe 2,500 should be okay. And you're the one with all the miscellaneous crap in it. Okay, so... So we did 1,000, so we'll do another 1,000 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. So we should have the gold, we should have the platinum, the cobalt's what I'm not sure of. We got 4k, yeah, okay, we've, we've got everything we need. The gold is actually 500. 
so 200, 500. Yeah, the gold's what we're going to be short on. Okay, so um, I'm going to take a look over here. Hopefully nothing shoots at me, because I am pretty much unarmed. inside <laughs> uh, here are the contracts is the store over here no but we'll check and see if there's anything in the lockers you should always check these because you never know you'll sometimes find stuff So I have a mixed feel. I have mixed feelings on drones. Um, I'm actually not opposed to them. Believe it or not, I actually do like them. Oh, you've got materials. Okay. Um, are you buying anything? You're buying ore. What are you buying the most for? Platinum and uranium, huh? So if I buy Yeah, I can't afford it. It's not even it's not even worth trying. That's crazy amounts of money too. Alright. Uh wasp coming in. That's generally my cue to get the hell out of here. Sims... Sims and I get along because of the fact that we both do a lot of the same stuff. Uh, we're kind of aggressive on our <laughs> salvage operations. <laughs> oh, man. All right. You know what? Let's go. I think that deserves to be a screenshot. <laughs> We can't use our farm until we get this area sealed off again. Did I have plates on me? I do. Okay. So let's go ahead and start getting this area closed in. It doesn't have to be pretty. Um, I'm gonna have to weld up all of this stuff in it by hand, so. Go ahead and just. And yeah, I'm using the the hazard paint so that we know basically where we've got holes that we need to fix. Um as I'm as I'm patching things closed, I want to be able to look at it and say, okay, uh, this is this is where it need, we need to close off some things. Uh, yeah, we can get away with that. Okay. So we'll do that. Um, I mean, realistically, can I? Okay, yeah. yeah. That poor thing actually was defending the ship at one point. There we go. And so what I'm thinking here is we're just going to go ahead, close this off like that. Um, and then let's go ahead. You know what? Let's just go ahead and get rid of all this. Uh, 
um, we're just gonna patch all of this closed here. Hey Fade, how you doing? <laughs> I uh, picked the fight with a war boss. I'm missing the front for like the front twenty five percent of my ship. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is after I've repaired the ship. <laughs> hey, Sunny, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. So uh, yeah, we uh, we ran into your mech boss there, buddy. <laughs> I lost my two small ships. Um, you know, the front, like like I said, probably the good 20% of my, 25% of the front of the ship. Um, all of my custom turrets. <laughs> and I am currently in hiding. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, we'll go pick a fight with it, <clears throat> see what happens. Yeah. So I'm at the point where I'm just trying to get my uh, materials, like, just get the ship sealed again. Oh. But I tell you what, man, those, those turrets. Oh, dude, Bob fixed the turrets. Nice. Um, yeah, the auto turrets on this thing kept me alive. The only reason the ship was not completely destroyed was because of the um, the defense, the point defense lasers, basically nuking all of the warheads that came in. But yeah, I was, I was telling people earlier. Yeah, I know, I I should, but I'm trying not to do that. But it, with the uh, the beating I just took, I'm gonna. Ha I don't really have a whole lot of choice with it. I think. I think I'm gonna have to. I am gonna have to actually hide, which is I was tr really trying not to do that. But yeah, I just. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and turn off the antennas. But yeah, they just they beat the hell out of me, dude. <laughs> oh, the antennas are off. Are all my antennas off? All my antennas should be off, right? Did I lose an antenna somewhere? I was running away, and I so. That one's off. Com array is what you're calling them, huh? Okay. Let's make sure they're actually turned off. Um, but yeah, I was running away and kept getting attacked. Okay, you're off. You're off. Yeah, no, they're off. I don't think I have any other antennas on board. Should be just those. But yeah, no, even the even the back of the ship. Uh, the shields held on for a while. But it got to the point where the shields started uh, getting into that like yellowish area. So I started to run away. And um, I don't know if the boss had a kinetic weapon on him or something, but he hit hard enough to basically blow off a good chunk of the hangar and the I don't know if it was the explosive decompression or the hangar like just the explosions that uh, caused the ship to rock and it just took me out of the line of fire for my cannons yeah it was wow it was, it was pretty brutal uh, it was a lot of fun though so let's head back here um, I need to get into inventory because I need plates. 
we have to tell somebody to create some plates here. So I think I am out. Yeah, I'm out. Okay. Uh, you are producing those. You. Alright, so I should have like 300k iron somewhere. Yeah, 375. That's good. Which, I don't know if I actually have access to actually let me see that <laughs> just just realized i may not actually have access to that uh, yeah. yes i do okay all right that's good oh no worries fate hope you have a great day man thanks for stopping in and for those who don't know, Fade's the person who built the um, the orc ships in the orcs mod. So we can blame Meredith for the, <laughs> the orcs kicking my butt across the across space here. Uh, you are where are you disconnected at? You're disconnected there. Okay. Looks like Bob picked up the debris out of the hangar. Uh, you guys are still functional, yes? Yes, okay. I guess I could just fly out here and take a look. You are not. You're mostly functional. Okay. We're just waiting for the... for everything to catch up to us. Uh, any, uh... So, one of the thrusters down there is now online. So we're still missing the one thruster... Mm, you're getting there uh, and you're still kind of hurting we'll need to get this sealed up yeah basically you need to get a whole lot of stuff done all right Yeah, so like I said, what I'm hoping to do is basically just hang out here, hide for a little bit. Uh, hey Thomas, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. And I need to get... Actually, I need to get a bunch of plates. Hopefully the bobs have called up. Okay, so we're just going to drop off the scrap that we have. <clears throat> Excuse me, hiccups. Drop that off. Actually, we're just going to drop off all the stuff that we're not actually actively using right now. Because, right. like I said, I want to try and get the ship mostly airtight again. Um. Hey, Thomas. Um, yeah, what's bad is that this is after I've rebuilt the parts that were mostly missing. Definitely entertaining. All right. See? I basically got a little, uh, <laughs> I got a little uppity, and the uh, orc war boss decided it to come, you know, help me see reason. All right. And so this is gonna go. And like I said, we're basically just trying to get this thing airtight again. Once we get the the main portion of the ship airtight. Uh, you know what? Just 
Just because we can. There you go. Ah, I need... Uh, is there any way for me to get into... Oh, it's right here. I forgot. There's a door. Yeah, like, all of the bobs are gone. The, we lo We completely lost the saw. Um, we've apparently lost more of the front end of the ship now, too. That must be from the the last one that came through. Great. Just great. It's okay. Everything works out, right? Uh, let's grab some more plates. What we're going to do is we're going to do that to that. Uh, that, and that. And then... I don't have any interior plates, but that's okay. We can get them really quick. I think we can get them. I think we should have a few. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Gets us a little closer to having the ship <laughs> mostly airtight again. Oh man. Right. Okay, so the front half of or the this front section, I'm probably going to just write off at this point. Um it's just, it's not really worth trying to salvage it. So what I may do is we may go ahead and just do that. Actually, let's take you out of here for a second. So we'll that up. We'll take that out, take that out. Oh, I don't know why I just did that. Uh, so we'll go one there, one there, and one there. All right, that gets us our conveyors through. Um, and then the rest of this is just, you can, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely... Please tell me that's not near us. Uh, okay, it's not coming. It's not coming over towards us. Um, yeah, we'll definitely have all of that up and running. Um, the, the thing is that I will honestly want it to have... Um, I want it to renovate anyway. And this just gives me a really good reason to. But I also need the ship, because of the mods that we have installed, I need portions of the ship to actually function. Um, like, I can't produce food if it doesn't have a, uh, an atmosphere in there. Like, that entire chamber has to be airtight. So I have to go through and make sure we can actually hold an atmosphere in it. Uh, which means... We can close that now, which means I need one, two, three. Make sure we got nothing in here. So we're gonna one, two, three, and then it's one, two, three, four. Okay. Seven components could not be put in production. Oh, it's because it's still defaulting to the damn sur <sighs> this damn survival kit. The survival kit keeps taking all of our um, our queue ups for some reason, and I'm not sure why it's doing that. Well, it's really annoying though. All right, so let's do this. What shows up first? 
I'm guessing it's the survival kits are showing up first, but they shouldn't be. The assemblers should be showing up first. Okay. Uh, let's go here, and we're going to rename this. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. It's irritating the hell out of me. All right, uh, what are you missing? You're just going to be small steel tubes. Okay. Yeah, because I don't think the survival kit can make small steel tubes. So that's what it is. Which, like I said, it's really annoying because it shouldn't be even trying to send them that way. Give me a thousand of those. Basically just gonna pull these out of the grid as we as fast as we can. Yeah, actually, like I said, I do have a blueprint for the ship. Um And we will, I mean, we could have, we could have Bob go ahead and fix it as is, but. I'm trying to get all this. Hey, everything's been withdrawn. Okay, so that means, let's open that up for right now. So I'm going to get out and um, fix <laughs> the under section. So I need to get that one going. And that one. Okay, and I think that with that done, that gets us piped in through most of the forward section. And close that off. Let's go ahead and fix some of this stuff. Uh, we know the hangers are screwed. <laughs> yeah, so the um, the little fighter that we built, that's gone. Our utility craft is gone. The fighter, you actually got the watch float away. That was actually hilarious. Um, yeah, okay. Awesome. So we can fix the composter. Composter's back online. Energy critical. Uh, let's drop you out, drop you in. All right. Okay, so we've still got something open to space somewhere. <laughs> Not quite sure what. Oh, that might be it. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing it's going to be... One of the windows is probably still open to space. Right. We'll have to go out and take a look. Um, I, I was going to say, I, I thought... One of these was, but... I'm guessing one of you guys is open. No energy. Ah, crap. Come on. Let me down. Thank you. Give me power. Ah, all right. All right, so. <laughs> we need to do 
is I'm not sure so you're all there you know what let's I don't want to pull that out of there yet let's go uh, conveyor I had one of you there all components are pulled okay which means I can take that out that in and we can check to see if this holds atmosphere now it might take a while for it to get here We need to find the holes in the ship. All right, so you're saying that no, you're not pressurized. Okay. Let's go. We'll have to go outside and check. Because I know that if we close this door, we can pressurize the aft portion here. So I was able to get all of this up and running. So let's head up. We're going to hop in the seat for a second. Look, we can see outside again. That's enough sleep for now. And that side view. Okay, so. Yeah, so that's missing windows that's what we're missing okay all right so let's we can hit we can get into the grid from here so let's do so and i want girders should be enough and i'm probably honestly going to replace these windows at some point but for now they get the job done. And I think that should do it, yeah? So if I get those done... All right, let's go grab some parts out of the, out of the uh, supply line. All components withdrawn, that's good. The problem is going to be re basically rebuilding the hangers. That's going to be such a pain. Alright. Okay, so all of that looks sealed. No holes there, right? Uh, the only place we might still have holes are here. But it shouldn't be. There should be... F oh. You know what? I don't feel like messing with it. We're just going to close it all in. All right. And you're missing a thruster there, but you've been patched. Missing a thruster there. Um... You might be a problem. Are you a problem? You are missing thruster components. Ah, uh, you are the... That would be a problem. Okay. So we'll do that. That'll fix that hole. And we're going to have to patch... That and that. See, the problem is that what I'm probably going to do, I'm probably just going to cut these hangers off at this point. Because um, I can probably reuse the materials better than having them there. Right, but 
because that's we're already missing the supply line on one side. Uh, surprisingly, the other side survived okay. But I think that should. Let's go check. See if that gets it. See if that gets us our pressurized environment. This is the longest we've gone without seeing orcs today. Alright, so if we close that, make sure everybody's functional, all the blocks are functional. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one. Let's just go ahead and seal that. See if that pressurizes up. something down below that we're missing here okay so everything here looks good that should all be sealed now that should all be sealed okay so if we do that and open this. Uh, no, you're still saying we're. And no, okay, so that means it's something down here somewhere. All right, so somewhere down in the bowels, we're missing something. All right, let's head upstairs then. Yeah, I know. There we go. And all that's good. Okay, so we'll head up here. We'll go take another look outside the ship, and we'll see uh, where we've got problems. Because we have a problem somewhere in there, and I just don't know where it's at. I'll make sure I... Did I close the other door when I came out the last time? Yes, I did. Yeah. Alright, so if we come down here... Well... Uh, that is airtight. That's airtight. We know that's airtight because that's holding the that's holding air already. So we're looking for something over here that's to be leaking. I'm not seeing anything. It might also be one of those cases where a space engineer is just as decided it doesn't want to have an area pressurized again. That happens a little too often. Uh, let's see. Okay, all that's sealed. I think what we need to do is just bring another bob online. In fact, while we're here, Go ahead and take this stuff apart. And oh wait, it did pressurize. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Guess it just took it 
a bit of time to realize that yes, it was actually good. I'm just gonna drop all the stuff off in here. I'm not overly worried about it. All right, so if we okay, so the hallway here is pressurized. That's good. And the hallway over there is pressurized, so it's just the hangers that are borked at this point. Okay, so let's go out this way. And what we're gonna do is I'm going to put let's just drop an airlock door in here just because we can. I need steel plates. Of course I do. Give me steel plates. <laughs> Give me steel plates. Oh, let's go that way. Okay, so that should be the only thing that we have. Now I just have to find an area that is actually still tied in again. I think it's all the way back here. Yeah, that's fine. And basically I'm just setting it up so I can get in and out of the ship easily without having to depressurize the entire thing or run all the way through the ship to get to the various uh, areas. There we go. All right. And so what I'm thinking is basically everything forward of this door right here, so basically uh, where this thing pinches in at, just cut it free. It's like, have Bob come down, take all of this stuff out. Energy critical. We'll cut the hangers. Basically have Bob grind all this stuff down. I mean, it's a lot of material. Hmm. I'm torn on whether or not I want to try and restore it. Or just grind it down for parts and start over. I'm, I'm really leaning towards the grind it down for parts and start over. Because if we cut the, basically the front of this off, cut that off, eventually we'll just grind the whole ship down, I think. But that'll give us a lot of our material back. Hmm. But then I have to worry about defense. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's head back in here. We'll get recharged. Uh, I think I have some super left. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's all. Okay, so something in here is still depressurizing. Alright, so where is the leak in here then? So it's this one section. You're all functional. You should be airtight, yeah? Yeah. Oh, crap. Alright, so where is it in that section that's missing O2 then? Get our power and health back and we'll go take another look in there. Yeah, because I, I can't find an area. Oh. So let's go. <sighs> Depressurize once more. Okay, so. Oh, you know what? Is it behind? No, those are all good. Those are all good. Mm. 
Okay, so we know all that is good. It was pressurized with the reactors and cargo in here, but those are missing. But that's okay. There it is. It's right there. I was like, there's only a couple of places it could be. Come on, Bob, get the other one. Yep, that was it. I'm like, there's only like one or two places that could still be a problem. All right, so. Okay, so the entire interior of the ship is pressurized again. And I don't know why I just ran up that way, but that's okay. Ah. Oh. That means we can survive once more. All of our food production is back online. Our spawn, our respawn clone center is re back online. So we're actually not in that bad of a position right now. For now, at least. Oh, okay. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to call this one here. Thankfully, we were able to find a spot that we can hang out long enough to get everything mostly working we're gonna let Bob run for a while see if I can get these uh, the rest of these thrusters back online or at least the majority of these thrusters back online uh, maybe try to get one of the jump drives up I think that would actually be beneficial but we have to decide on if I'm gonna get the jump drive up it means I'm gonna have to save the hangar spaces if I'm going to have to save the hangar spaces, that means I'm going to have to repipe some things. All right. Well, we maybe we'll save the hangars then. We'll see. All right. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I want to thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you. Trying to keep, keep everything up and running. Um, I'd love to bring the saw back online. But I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking we are going to at least cut off that forward section. It's just, it's too much stuff in there to try and recover at this point. Um, so I think that if we bring that, basically take that off, we can uh, work with everything else. So, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh... We will try and get all of this up and running. Next live stream will be on Friday at roughly 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, my current time zone is GMT minus 8 for folks that are trying to schedule it. Uh, but yeah. All right. I'm going to get out of here. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And uh, we'll see you back here next time for more well, probably explosions in deep space. <laughs> As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody.